Right, number 49, the scatter plot below shows the number of arithmetic errors 10 students made on a quiz and the amount of time the students took to complete the quiz. And it wants to know the relationship between arithmetic errors and the amount of time it took them to complete the quiz. All right, so one thing to understand about correlation is it's the same thing as slope whenever it's graphed. So a positive slope looks like this. A negative slope looks like this. So positive slopes actually increase over time. And we read this from left to right. So from left to right that's going up or increasing. And then negative slopes actually decrease over time. So correlation is the same thing as slope when you graph it. So, these are going down, so my line of best foot would look something like that. And are the points really close to each other? Yeah. So that tells me it's going to be a strong, not positive, it's going to be a negative relationship. So strong negative is going to be answer choice B. So as one thing goes up, for instance time, as time goes up, or increases, what happens to the errors? They decrease. So that's what a negative relationship means. As one thing goes up, the other goes down. Positive just means they're going in the same way. So if both were going down over time or both were going up over time, that would be positive. But anytime they're going in opposite directions, that's negative. So you would use that relationship when you had a statement. What relationship would this graph be? Well, it is positive. Are the points close together or spread out? Pretty spread out, huh? So we'd probably say weak positive for one like that. Do you know what no correlation looks like? That would be an example of no correlation. There's really no rhyme or reason to how the points are arranged. They're all kind of randomly scattered. So even if we did do a line of best fit, um, it wouldn't really represent that data, would it? All right, on to number 50. An elevator can hold a maximum of 1,500 pounds. Eight people need to use the elevator. Bill had some measures from the data set of how much each person weighed. Which measure would be the most useful to determine if the people can safely use the elevator? So in other words, which one of these choices, mean, median, mode, or interquartile range, would be most helpful um, to make sure that we don't go over 1,500 pounds? Hmm. Well, I'm looking at these. I see mean. I know mean means the average. Remember what med median means? Middle, the middle number. Mode is what occurs the most. And the interquartile range is when we take the upper quartile and subtract the lower quartile. So that one's tied to the median. Because you just find the median of the lower half of the data and the median of the upper half of the data to find the two quartiles. So that one's very similar to median. All right. Hmm. Well, all we know is the total. That's all we're given is the total weight. So think about how each of these are actually calculated. The median, one person could theoretically be a thousand pounds. Another person could be 800 pounds. But the middle two could be real tiny. So is the median really helpful in telling us what the total is? No, it just tells us the middle number. So the median doesn't seem very helpful, which means we can eliminate B and D because it's not giving us the total. The mode, the number that occurs the most, well, even if we had three people who weighed 60 pounds, 
What's to say that there couldn't be one, uh, one other person there that weighed 1,000 pounds and another person who weighed 400 pounds? And now we're already over the limit. So the MO doesn't give any indication as to our total. But the mean, do you remember how to calculate it? You just take the sum of the numbers. Hmm, sum of the numbers, that means the total. And divide it by how many numbers you have. So here it would be divided by 8. Well, that seems like it would be more helpful. Because if we knew the mean, we could just do 8 times whatever it was. And that would tell us if it's over 1,500 or not. So I'm going with A, the mean. And once again, that reason is because the mean uses the total in its calculation. Take the sum of the numbers. And here's a follow-up on that. If there were eight of us and our average weight was 160 pounds, would we be safe? How would you find that? That's right, you would just do 160 times 8. And 8 times 160, 1,280 pounds. They are safe. They're under the 1,500 pound maximum. Thanks for watching.